John 6.25 Kai hurantes auton perantes thalases epan auto hrabi pate hode geganas and if we remember in the previous verse we read about the crowd which was looking for Jesus and they got they got in their boat there's the they right nominative masculine plural they embarked in their boats and they came to Capernaum looking for Jesus and then we read here and finding him and this participle hurantes is from hurisco remember whenever you have a verb that ends in isco you can expect that to disappear outside the present and imperfect tenses. And re you may remember the second aorist of Hurisco is Huron. So Hurisco is I am finding, Huron is I found. So when we make an aorist participle, it builds on that second aorist stem, Hur. There's a Hur. So this is a second aorist active participle. And see that ending there? That's a nominative masculine plural. Probably temporal, right? When they, when they found him. And when they found him, that is this crowd that was searching for him, on the other side of the sea, when they found him on the other side of the sea, they said, this is of course from Lego, just a second aorist of Lego, second aorist, active indicative, third person plural. They said to him, Rabbi, Rabbi, this little word reminds us of a number of things. One is whenever a Greek word begins with a row, it will have a rough breathing mark, which was probably marking for non-native speakers to say that with a trill, rabbi, right? All other words that begin with rough breathing marks begin are, are words that begin with vowels, and it means to make an H sound. This word rabbi is a transliteration, right? Writing with Greek letters, a word that is from Hebrew or Aramaic. Rabbi, rabbi, pate, when here have you come, right? When did you arrive here? When did you come here? This last word in the verse is a perfect. You probably know that when you see that reduplication. It's an irregular perfect of genomai, and it's a just a perfect active indicative second person singular. In my own mind, when I look at this, I think you know, specifically it's asking, when, when did you arrive here? It, it, it really sounds more uh, like almost like an aorist idea, and it reminds us, I'm just suggesting, uh, I haven't read this in any commentary, but I'm suggesting that perhaps this perfect should should not be pressed into the mold of a resultative or stative idea, because about 10 to 11 percent of the perfects that we find in the New Testament seem to really be interchangeable with an aorist, right? And we know that eventually the perfect dropped out of usage because it was interchangeable with the aorist by the third or fourth century AD, but we already find that in uh, the first century and even earlier. So this is a perfect form, but specifically with this, you know, when, you know, when did you arrive here? I, I, I think it, it maybe should be understood as synonymous with an heiress.